What's up guys, today we're gonna to take it back to the old school. We're going to make double decker taco, little Del Taco copycat recipe. Y'all stick around for this one. What's up guys, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. Like I already said, we are taking it back. Listen, these double decker tacos, for whatever reason, Taco Bell got them off the menu, but these are my favorite or were my favorite. So I'm gonna show you how I make them at home. They're the best of both worlds. It's a burrito, it's a taco. It's all kind of one thing and I miss it. So I'm gonna show you how we do it here at home. Listen, easy ingredients, I'll list them all down below, but we're just gonna go exactly how like Taco Bell would do it. You know, got some ground beef, got a little McCormick pack of taco seasoning, the old school way. Got some Ortega taco shells. Now I thought about, you know, frying up some corn tortillas and making them that way. That's not the way Taco Bell does it, right? No, they, they have them in a big pack of already made taco shells. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? Got some flour tortillas to wrap on the outside. Little refried beans by our uh, Aunt Rosarita, right? Got some shredded lettuce, some shredded cheese. Straight from the bag, that's right. You know, I usually preach about grating your cheese, but you know, but you know, make a mess. But Taco Bell has bag cheese, so that's what we're doing too. All right, y'all, so that's it. We're gonna get over to the stove, fry up that ground beef, get those beans heated through, and we'll make these tacos. Real simple, real easy, hit that thumbs up. By the way, we're on that road to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, become part of CJ's Crew For Real here on YouTube, and help us get to that 100K by the end of the year. All right, stick around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started over here on the stove. We have our pound of ground beef. I'm gonna cut open, hopefully without stabbing myself. Hit that fire. We're gonna brown up our meat. We have this little original taco seasoning by McCormick. Needs a little water, a little seasoning. You brown this up, brown up the meat first. Let's go ahead and get that in there. For whatever reason, I grabbed organic. It's 85.15. Yours does not need to be organic. Just chop it up. All right, we'll break that down a little bit as it heats up. Second pot over here. Gonna turn it up to medium and get our homemade refried beans from our Aunt Rosarita, or sorry, Tia Rosarita. <laughs> Guys, I'm sure there are plenty of homemade refried bean recipes out there, but again, I am not trusting that Taco Bell uses homemade refried beans. So we're going old school canned. And all we're doing is heating this through, getting it nice and smooth, no big deal. All right, come on back. All right, while the beans and meat are heating up, getting browned up, heated through, I got a question for you through the, through the comments. What is your old school, and it doesn't have to be Taco Bell, but fast food menu item that has been taken off that you miss the most, all right? So throw that in the comments down below. I'm telling you, these double decker tacos, back when I used to get them, you know, I was playing ball at the time. You know, I needed something heavy duty to fill my, my big old tummy after, you know, beating heads all day. These things were like 59 cents, 79 cents. So damn good, and, and really, they're not so damn good. I mean, they're not good for you at all, but man, did they hit the spot, all right? So these double decker tacos are where it's at. Hit that thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, our ground beef is browned up and it has been drained of excess fat. So we're gonna pour our, our water in and we're just gonna give this a mix. And all we're gonna do is let this come up to a quick boil, turn it down a little bit, let it simmer and all the flavors combine. And then we'll start building these tacos. Our refried beans are softened, heated through. This is gonna be the glue that sticks the flour tortilla to the corn tortilla. So we're, uh, we're looking good over here. All right, guys, this is where we want to be. We've uh, reduced the water content in there. Got a nice taco seasoned ground beef. All right, let's get ready to build these tacos. All right, team, we are over on our little plating section. So we got a flour tortilla. I'm gonna spread some of this refried beans on there all the way around so it sticks on both sides. All right, so we got our meat over here. I'm gonna fill our little taco shell. There we go. Maybe a little extra spoonful in there. We have our shredded lettuce up on the top. This is straight up Taco Bell style. And we got our cheese. Cheese. I'll put that right over the top. So we have a taco already built, some already on the plate. And we're just gonna marry 
one side to the other there we go maybe a couple of tomatoes on top and you know we got to have that taco bell mild sauce to go in the side so we're gonna pour a little bit along the side right there when i say a little bit i mean a lot <laughs> all right guys there's the dish i'm gonna go ahead and dress this up make it look good for the thumbnails and we'll give it a shot all right come on back all right team we are done our beautiful double decker tacos are ready i'm gonna go ahead and give one a little try here we got crunchy soft burrito taco the whole shebang right now mm. i'm telling y'all it's just like i remember growing up in them double deckers so good mm. all right y'all that was that was damn good listen if you're nostalgic for old fast food items that you can't find on the menu anymore this is right up your alley all right Team, on this cook, I use my Ninja Foodie Never Stick Pan, so I'll put a link down below for those of you who want to get yourself some. Probably will not put a recipe on the website for this one because it's you know relatively simple. You know how you like your tacos. If you want, put in the comments down below. If you need an exact recipe, then I'll, I'll work it on the website. But for real, this one was way too easy, all right? But feel free to stop by and check out all the other multitude of recipes on the website. All right. If you guys want to get my knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff, links are all down below. So hit show more underneath the video. Check it out. If you want to become a show producer like all these double decker taco eleven people right here, make sure you hit that join button right next to that subscribe button. But other than that, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick jaunt through memory lane old school taco bell recipes but other than that we are done i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week thanks for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care